How do you feel, babe? I feel amazing. Why do you feel amazing? What is up, TNJ fam? We are back with another video, and this time we are taking you guys on a surprise trip yes. adventure on something that's very close to our hearts something that was on us to do we partner with a special company to make this happen yes um so you guys will see shortly but what we need them to do we need you to like comment share subscribe and click that bell and follow social media links below but y'all super excited i think y'all are gonna really like it maybe a little emotional so buckle up and stay tuned but we will jump right in bye, bye. Hi. i'm so glad to see you <laughs> look at you oh my god how are you good how are you so that's aria so we got Terrell and Jarius. I'm Jarius. This is Terrell. We were really looking forward to coming back one day to give back to someone else just because we know how hard it is. And he was actually in here for a little under two weeks. Yeah. So um, and we was talking with Michelle and we had such a great bond with her while she was here. And was just kind of heard about like you, you having twins and we just wanted to see could you share anything with us about like what's going on with you? I'm Paula. I have my two babies. One of them just went home on Saturday. That's Avery. Avery's still here. Not doing so great, but she's still here. She's gonna be fine, mm -hmm. but. So Ashton was actually here. He's a little over a year now, so he was born July 27. He was three pounds, 11 ounces when he was born. Of course, super nervous coming in here, and he actually just broke out. So we, now we were joking with Michelle. I was just like, he <laughs> came back in here and broke out in highs because he was so ready to get out. He was like, no. He, he's yeah. like, no, this is bad memories. I don't want to come back here. I get it. So mainly, you know, like Josh was saying, we just, it was on our hearts. Like, we were just like, man, like that time, because we live all the way by. Yeah airport so like we were commuting back and forth and of course we didn't want him to be here by himself all the time right, so he had to like, be here like yeah. literally i was here because the day he was born i went on paternity leave i was literally here like anywhere between 10 to sometimes 15 hours a day like here all day blowing up michelle <laughs> <laughs> looking oh for updates God. the cafeteria became our bed all we ate was cafeteria <laughs> <laughs> just knowing the stress and then of having two and then you know you said one guy release on one home and you still have to be here so we know it's a hassle for sure you know it was on our hearts and we actually partnered with four moms so we wanted to come and give you a mama roo uh, for one of the girls Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> like this is not a little gift. Yeah. <laughs> this is a gift. Oh, hopefully gift. you didn't have one already. Oh my god! People probably like try to shower thank them you, with thank gifts. Thank you, no. thank you. You know, like random acts of kind. Like I just oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so <laughs> we just definitely want to give you some encouragement that everything is going to be okay. We had actually just had a bet, like, you know, oh, he's going to be like seven pounds mm -hmm. because he came out and literally, like, he was like, all wrinkled up. Like, Violet, you know, you started just, being real skinny. Like, yeah, like, just very, very scrawny. And I just burst out in tears because he actually was in the <laughs> delivery room. I'm like waiting on updates. I'm pacing in the, in the waiting room, like, what's going on? And he sends me a picture. It was like, Three pounds, eleven ounces. I was like, "What's wrong?" They're like, I'm not in there. So it was just like super emotional. And then immediately they took me to the NICU, and it was hard for us because we had just suffered a miscarriage. We had a surrogate and had a miscarriage the year before. So when a three pound, eleven ounce baby come on, I'm just like, Here "We, we cannot be going through this." Again. So it was it was tough. I think he surprised most of the staff too with, with how fast. Yes, because I will say this being here all the time, Michelle kept me in check. Because, you know that's hard to see, and she, you know, she was just like, he's fine, he's gonna be okay. Uh, your whole year later, like you would never even think that he was in the NICU, and then Artie was like five pounds. They were both super tiny. 
So we just wanted to make sure that we came and, and gave back. And so push and encourage you <laughs> to know that you it's gonna be okay. You don't know how much I needed that right now. <laughs> Her sister, pretty much, she keeps having pneumonia. God, so it's just a lot to look at, and it's just just knowing that your baby's going through surgery, and you know, I just, I don't know how comfortable I am with it, but I know I have to do it. I just feel so horrible, you know, like, right, I feel so guilty, like, I couldn't keep this in long enough, and then... But you know what the good thing is, though, is that everybody here knows the struggle. Mm -hmm. Everybody here knows, and they've seen so much, and they've dealt with so much. And like literally, I I can't I don't know what the outcome is, but I do know that everything is gonna work out the way that it's supposed to, mm -hmm. and everything is gonna work out for your good mm -hmm. and for your kids' good as well. I don't want you to, to blame let, yourself for sure. Yeah, at all. That is nothing. You, you got them here. You, know. <laughs> you know how many people would not be able to carry two? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing in yeah. itself. And so. that's in, it, it really is like carrying twins. That's a lot. You know. And she's been pumping. Yeah. So <laughs> she's pro she's Look, provided them so breast hard. milk since Look, the day they were gold. born. You know how much we had to pay for them. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's really the reason that we wanted to come back and do this because even though we didn't have as much to deal with with Ashton, like it was so many people around that was dealing with so much and I just feel like you should always go back and, and look back on those type of situations and be like, how can I help and how can I encourage somebody else? And the crazy thing is that we had like no support at the time. Too. Mm -hmm. We didn't even tell our parents that we had kids. Like, you know, yeah. like we were keeping so it, it Oh my God. Yeah, so, <laughs> like the whole time we were just back and forth, you know, sitting in Q by ourselves. We couldn't talk about it with anybody. Like literally the hospital staff became family. So like all concerns, <laughs> we just. I believe you. Yeah. Oh God, because I have my mom with me. So I'm like, if my mom was not here, I would yeah. go. Yeah. Like, I would lose my mind. Like, I bless my mom. She's so annoying, but. <laughs> <laughs> God bless her, because as long as she is, she is right on cue. Even when we're home and it hits that 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. feed, I just feel, I, on cue, I just hear my voice like you're opening. Like, yeah, checking in on you. Are you okay? Are you tired? Do you yeah. want me to feed her? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Let me sleep a little bit. So and it's like, I'm glad that you are doing that, too. You know that you are giving yourself like an opportunity to rest and stuff mm -hmm. like that because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Like it is not having two kids. It is not easy by any oh. stretch of the imagination. Just take pride in the fact that like you got them here, regardless of what the situation is. They're here, and you're doing all the and you're doing and everything that you can. And they are. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, God. look. <laughs> and we also, you know, Jesus we forget about our favorite, our favorite staff. So uh, we actually have, to have one God. for the NICU to stay Which here we too. Appreciate so yeah. Much. <laughs> and I know this baby loves it. Love it. No, but seriously, you guys are so good. You guys are awesome. For yeah. real. We love you guys. I tell, I tell them all the time, like, your babies are our babies when they're here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But you have something to look forward to. Last July, our son Ashton was born here, and you guys did an amazing job. We were a nervous wreck. He was only three pounds, 11 ounces. Every day, it was, you know, we didn't know what we were gonna happen. You guys made us like, feel super comfortable. Um, so we've been meaning to come back and, and show you how big he's gotten. We definitely give back to NICU babies as well, so we want to. We partnered with Four Mom to give you guys a mama as well. Just to show our thanks and appreciation for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And, and, and our daughter Arya, now she runs the house. <laughs> it was super important for us to come back and to make sure that we tell you all thank you. Seriously, because you I don't even know if you guys realize just like how much of an impact that every single person made here for us just by welcoming us and in, in, in such an untraditional situation and just making sure that we knew that everything was going to be okay. Like we seriously appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for trusting us with your sweet baby. This thank is so sweet. You. So look how good you look. Hi, Ian. So look how good you look. 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 Yay. No, no, no. No, no. 
no, no, no. Oh. And I'm gonna take no, a no, picture no. of all of you. Guys. How do you feel, babe? I feel amazing. Amazing? Okay. Why do you feel amazing? Because it was something that we had been talking about doing for a long time and to have somebody that's like super deserving. It's just, it's, it felt really good. Alright guys, so we are back home from the hospital. The kids are running around crazy. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very near and dear, like we said to yes. our hearts, something that we had been wanting to do. Um, and getting to meet um, her and hearing her story and getting to meet her daughter yes. um, was amazing, y'all. We um, love her already. Like, yeah. we can't say it enough. Like, it was super, super important to us to do this, and it felt so good it to did. give back. It like, did. it felt so good. Always remember, um, you know, somebody has been in your shoes before um, to give back when you can, you guys. Um, it's an amazing feeling, and we're so thankful that we had the opportunity to do it. Um, but we love you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a comment and let us know what you think. But until next time, bye!